Hey guys, Raj here. Today's fragrance review is from the from the house uh, Profumum Aroma. They are an Italian niche brand and uh, they have quite a lot of fragrances actually in their lineup. I've only really tested a handful. Definitely want to get get to uh, get to know more of them. Um, I've picked up a sample. This so this review is on Sorriso, which means smile. I picked this up when I was in Paris in the Javoy store. Javoy has a store here in London that's been open, I think, for maybe maybe six months or maybe it's been a year. I'm not sure. They also have some stores in the Middle East also. So I need to get down there and try a few more. This actually was a free sample. So that's always nice when you go in there and you speak with the sales assistants. Um, and yeah, I think they, they give out like maybe I got four samples or three or four samples. So that's always nice. Um, it's expensive though. Perfume Aroma definitely is on the pricey side. I would say this one is actually costs more than it needs to, but maybe you can get it at a discount. I haven't really looked. 100 ml on the Lucky Scent website is going to cost you 200 and uh, yeah, two hundred and sixty-five um, dollars, American dollars. So, well, it lasts a huge amount of time, and you don't really need to spray that much, and it is very highly concentrated. So the value maybe isn't as bad as you might think. Bitter chocolate. Uh, the notes are bitter chocolate, bitter orange, and exotic woods. I feel there's a little bit more going on than that, but let's get into this fragrance. Um, Gender-wise, I think a male or female could easily pull this off. Season-wise almost year round. Uh, when it's really, really hot, um, I I avoided wearing this fragrance. Now I haven't actually tested it, it might work, but my gut instinct told me cooler, colder weather, um, Ceriso is gonna perform much better, but you never know, give it a go, it might work in warmer weather. Uh, longevity, really good, like all day, really, really good. It leaves an oiliness on the skin, so you gotta be really careful when you spray it, maybe on clothes, I mean, you can see the color. You can see the color, it's like a dark uh, orangey, like an amber color. So yeah, it lasts a long time and you've got to be careful. Application wise, what I sometimes did was did a spray onto the wrist and then spread it across uh, against um, the back of my ears. Or sometimes I just did one spray to the chest and kind of like sprayed it, uh, took, um, spread it with my finger to the back of my neck as well and touch the base of the hairline so it, it holds onto the scent. Not that you you need any uh, help holding onto the scent because it lasts a huge amount of time. Um, so uh, f where would you wear it? I, I've wore it a few times to work because I always like testing fragrances at work. Probably not work appropriate. The sweetness is, even though it's not over the top, um, I just feel it's better for, you know, more of like the nighttime, date night, going out for dinner, that kind of thing. Um, yeah, so what do I get with this fragrance from the opening blast? I, I really like this fragrance from start to finish. In the, in the opening, there is this um, very smooth, it's a very smooth fragrance overall, actually. Milk chocolatey, really, really nice. Um, mixed in with a little bit of a touch of vanilla um, to add to that sweetness. Cocoa is plays a part in this, but not too much. There's like a little bit of dusting of cocoa powder on top of this, which um, adds this, yes, this bitterness to the sweeter notes of milk chocolate and vanilla. It does remind me a little bit of like a cocoa butter like body lotion. Not that I've ever used cocoa butter body lotions, but I have smelt it on other people and it can be quite powerful. So there is that element in there, maybe a touch of like coconut potentially um, in here as well, but I don't know if I'm imagining that, but I sometimes thought a little bit of coconut, coconut lotion, that kind of thing. It's a, in some ways it's quite a tropical, it gives me a kind of quite a tropical feel. Um, yeah, I, I, I think that's pretty much the fragrance. It doesn't really, like, there's not much more to say. And that's what you get for the whole day. And if you like the sound of that, that could be great for you. If the, you're not really too keen on these notes and the linearity is um, an issue, then this fragrance might not be for you because it doesn't develop too far away from what I've described. I'm just trying to see if I pick up on anything else. I mean... The chocolate note is really lovely. It's a really nice, nice bar. Like you've just opened up a bar of milk chocolate. I'm actually a fan of dark chocolate. I don't really eat milk chocolate too much, but I do like the smell. 
Um, there is a, a bit in there of like a coconut milk mixed in with uh, cocoa powder, a little bit in there. It's a cool fragrance. I think it's a really nice example of what a gourmand fragrance can be. For me, I feel like it's, it's a little bit too literal, like it literally smells of milk chocolate rather than giving me a hint of that or rather than mixed, being mixed in with other notes which take away that, uh, um, that sort of very lifelike feeling of being surrounded by melted chocolate and cocoa powder, uh, which get, gets a little bit too much for me. I, I really like the fragrance. Would I buy this in the 100 ml? I think it's quite expensive for what you're going to get. I would be tempted to get another sample like this or buy like a 5 ml decant or something like that. That would sort of satisfy my craving whenever I need to smell like a bar of milk chocolate. And um, yeah, I think I think I think I think it's it's a fragrance worth having, just not in the full size. I'm gonna go with a I'm gonna go with a good rating. I'm gonna go eight out of ten. Definitely deserves a higher score. I wouldn't mind some other notes being mixed in there as well. Um, but that's the way it is. So guys, have you tried this fragrance? Um, what about other fragrances from Perfume and Roma? Where does this rank? Is this one of the better gourmand fragrances in the line? Let me know. Is it a little bit too literal for you or maybe a little bit too sickly sweet? Whatever you have to say, say it. Check me out on Instagram as well and feel free to hit the like button and subscribe uh, if you like what you see. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you soon.